Look, fellas. I got my new leg. I can walk. Careful, Mill. You're gonna break it in easy. Yeah, not over 20 miles an hour for the first 500. Let me go, Bob. You can't help me all my life. Let me try again. Okay. the cripple. And you can't tell it's a corporal. The people won't be staring at me anymore. And I'll be a regular guy and get a job. A job? You think you'll get a job. What do you mean? Say, I've been reading these want ads for two weeks. Nobody's taken on disabled men. Don't say that, John. It's a big world. There's a place for all of us somewhere. No, nah, that's a lot of boy. We're through. Boy, stop. Done for. Ah, you're a pessimist. A man's never looked till he admits it. Look at Mel. Well, look at yourself. You were gassed the same as I was. How are you going to spend the rest of your life out in the open air and the sunshine like a doc ordered? That's easy. Yeah? Yeah. Come here. Take a look at the bulletin board. The government's giving away homestead land out west. We have 90 days preference. Three months to pick out the best land for ourselves. Well, what do you think of it, Bob? Great. The hospital could do no more for us. We've got to do something. And it may as well be homestead. I'll go for Dad. As John says, there ain't much use for one on taxi driver. A peg like policeman. Hey, what's it like out there, Bob? Let's ask Willow by Joplin. He's from the West. He ought to know. Yeah, he knows it all. He wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's all right. You want to know anything about the West? Ask him. Ask him an Indian. He'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lullaby. Hey, there lullaby. Lullaby, come here. Come here, Lullaby. Come here, sir. What you want, partner? What do you think of this San Juan Basin in New Mexico? Oh, I see what you mean. Out west, we call it San Juan. Boy, that's my old stamping ground. Hey, look, fellas. He does know all about it. Yeah. It's good farming land. Is it? Why, listen, the soil is so rich, even the fence posts take root and grow. <laughs> <laughs> Will she raise a spaghetti and a macaroni? Uh, roast beef, coffee, and strawberry pie. <laughs> hey, Lullaby, is there any hunting? Hunting? Yeah. Why, the woods are full of deer, the creeks are full of trout, and the mountains are full of gold. And you're full of baloney. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a chance. On what? What do you think? Homesteading, of course. Homestead? Sure. We're all going to be landlords, ain't we, Bob? Do you good, too, to get back in that western air. You were gassed, same as I was. Yeah, are you guys really serious? No! no. 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 Hey, let's all go together, fellas. And let's elect your top sergeant. A guy everybody likes and trusts. Bob Bryant. Oh. 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 Hey, I don't know anything about the West. You don't have to. Lullaby's going along to show us the ropes. Aren't you, Lullaby? You're just saying that. You don't want me to feel that you sacrificed your education to come along. Now, what's a diploma compared to an only brother? You've taken care of me for years, and now I'm taking care of you. But, sis, I don't want you to be my nurse. All right, I'll be a schoolmom. There's half a dozen children in the party, and I'm going to start classes as soon as we reach the San Juan Valley. You win, teacher. It's about, uh, it's about, uh, oh, it's five miles. Well, you and I had better go on ahead and make sure of accommodations. Uh, we've got to put up there overnight. Okay. All right. Let me escort the lady. Boom, <coughs> the old set. 
partner. Let her go. We're going to town. Yes, <laughs> Howdy, Brack. Where's my brother? He's over there learning the boys how to play draw poker. You lose, boss. Plenty more where that came from. I wouldn't be too sure of that, Alden. What's on your mind, Brack? There's another batch of homesteaders on the way out here. Well, we've got rid of nesters before. But you can't get rough with this outfit. There are war veterans and the government's behind them. What do you want to do? Let them move in and take all this away from us? <laughs> Work at Bull and Uncle Nate's men and meet those veterans in Carrizosa. Us with the best cook in Arizona on our payrolls. Why we have to eat in saloons is beyond me, Stoney. Well, we made a bet, didn't we? Yeah, well, I lived up to my part of the bargain, didn't I? Spent the last six months on the ranch working hard and taking orders from you, didn't I? <laughs> you sure did, Stoney. All right, now you're going to live up to your part of the bargain. You're going to spend the next six months traveling with me, and we'll find some, some real, real excitement. excitement. No, Stoney. This is 1919. The wild and woolly days are over. You hear that? Modern times, Stoney. Yeah, that must be one of those veterans that were coming out here, huh? Yeah, we haven't seen one of those contraptions since we left France. I haven't seen one of those since I, uh... I'm talking about the motorcycle. Come on, let's have some shopping. Oh, hello, boys. How are you? We're so hungry, we could eat rawhide. But we'll settle for steak and beans. You know, a big steak and little beans. How would you like your steak, senor? Well, now, um, I'd like mine cut as far from the horns as possible. As far as Come on, we... cut out the chatter. Let's have the chow. Not bad. Howdy, Bo. Howdy. How's everything in the San Juan? Oh, we're doing all right for ourselves. Hey, uh, by the way, where are those veterans who are going to take our least range away from us? Oh, just a few miles out of town, I heard. They ought to be here any minute. Well, we'll wait for him. Come on. 
keep him away from you. Hold your left arm. championship over in France. Boy, am I glad to meet uh, you. Me too, too. Gosh. That was wonderful. You are the strongest man in the world. Rosita, she could love you. Stoney, here's your prize. Sorry, I... Hey, Marion, why don't you meet a couple of friends of mine? Do you know that girl? Well, sure, she's with our outfit. Here they come. Bob, I want you to meet a couple of pals of mine. This is Bob Bryant, our top kick, and a swell guy. This is Tucson Smith, champion of the AEF. Well, I heard of you over there. I'm sure glad to meet you. My partner here was the famous one, Stony Brook. Glad to know you, Bob. If there's anything I can do for you, like finding you a camping ground or anything? Oh, thanks, but Lullaby's already seen to that. Haven't you, Lullaby? Oh, sure. I, I ran into a little difficulty, but, but I got it straightened out all right. So. Yeah, he's got it straightened out. Hi, hello, boys. They tell me you're the boss of this outfit. Oh, that's what they tell me, too. I hear you're aiming to homestead in the San Juan Basin. Ever been there before? No. You'll have a job getting this outfit 80 miles over the mountains. You wouldn't want to make the trip for nothing, would you? For nothing? What do you mean? The country's too dry for homesteading. No rain? Well, how about dry farming? No, that's cattle range. Always was and always will be. What do you want to do, Lullaby? I don't know. Well, what do you want us to do? Go back and homestead Bronx Park? Can't do that. We bet everything we own on this outfit. Don't worry. There's plenty of land further on, the kind you can farm. Keep going west. You'll be better off. Just a minute. What's the idea of trying to steer these people into the desert? It might save them a heap of trouble. They won't make good anyway. I don't see a he-man among them. These boys have got something that you could never see. Remember, they just won a war. And they used to be in met with a brass band, but not in the San Juan. If they take my advice, they'll stay away from there. If you want some real advice, you'll mind your own business. We're taking them up there, Mr. Ranchman. Now, you've got me all wrong, brother. I'm no rancher. A cowboy like yourself. Just one cow hand talking things over with another for his own good. So long, friend. Yeah. I'll see you later. Just a cowboy. Say, you know who that is? No. That's Brack Canfield. He and his brother run the biggest cattle spread in the San Juan. Oh, I get it. If he could keep us out until our 90-day preference expires, he could have his own men homestead the basin. You're right. I'm afraid you're walking into a lot of trouble, Bob. You heard what he said. Well, we've come a long way to get that land. You've got a long way to go, Bob. 80 miles over mountain trails. You'll never do it in these cars. If you're going back, they'll do. But if you're going on, you better swap them for horses and wagons. Which is it, boys? Cars or wagons? Our dreams are of tomorrow. Good morning, Miss Bryant. 
I said good morning, Miss Bryant. Why don't you go back and annoy the little senorita? Would you miss me if I did? I certainly would, like I'd miss a headache. Well, uh, you'll probably feel a lot better then, because Tucson and I are pulling off this morning. Goodbye. Oh! Oh, well, Mr. Brooks! Tony! I... I'm sorry for the way I acted. You've been wonderful to us, and I want you to know I appreciate it. Honest? Honest. You really hate to see me go. And you do like me. Well, then I won't go. Uh, I didn't intend to, anyhow. I just wanted to hear you say you like me. Goodbye, Miss Bryant. Got to look like an accident. Don't worry. When I touch off that charge of dynamite, they'll never know what happened. Have you heard lullaby? Nah, that ain't nothing when you ride a motorbike. <laughs> Let's get it over here. Why don't you ride a horse? I can't. Listen, fellas, I'm not a Westerner. He's not a Westerner. Not a Westerner. Oh, I wanted to be. I've always wanted to be, ever since I started reading Wild West magazines. I could, too, if I had a chance. Gee, I'd give anything in the world to be a real Westerner like you. Safe now. Mary, hey, where's Tucson? Bob. Hey, 
give you too much. Oh, you sure saved my life. Yeah, well, that's two lives I've saved. <laughs> Look, you folks better turn out your horses to graze and check your wagons and make repairs. Come on, Tucson, we're taking a ride. Hey, wait! I'm going with you. Uh, no, thanks. We need a westerner right here to ride herd on those horses. Well, I'll be doing it. <laughs> Yippee! Where are you going, Stoney? Something tells me that landslide can stand a little looking over. As soon as they're settled, boys, we'll drive off their horses. Just as I thought, that landslide was no accident. Now, who'd do a rotten thing like that? I'm doing all right. You see that? He's got his gang with him. Let's get out of here. That guy ride. You all right, fellas? Couldn't be better. Hey, where's the rest of the outfit? The rest of the outfit? Oh, I was just bluffing. Well, I'll be hog tight. Say, uh, what kind of shells are you shooting? Blanks. They wouldn't sell me anything else in Chicago. Partner, let me shake your hand. Gosh, thanks. We got it cleared away yesterday. The road's wide open. When they hit our range, the grass won't last long. How many gunslingers can you raise, Bull? No shooting, Olin. Nothing goes but accidents. Won't be long before they're stringing fences, breaking sod, and building homes. All the better. When a man loses something he's put a lot of work into, he's liable to get discouraged and pull out. You're right, Frank. Let them come and see how they like. There it is, Marion. The promised land. Oh, Bob, it's beautiful. Look at that land. I'll bet it's good for 60 bushels to the acre. Don't forget, Mel, we're 50-50. I'll do your share of the plowing, and you'd cut my share of the wood, see? Okay. 
And the woods are full of deer, and the creeks are full of trout. What do you think of it, Pete? What I think? Yeah. What I think? Wait a minute, I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> Commanding officer. When are you going to move in, Sarge? Tomorrow. Right, sis? Right. And Chuck is going to let us use his place for the celebration. Well, that's an idea. Pass the word along, boys. We want everybody to be there. Everybody. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Beef is sure swell. <laughs> this is venison, you big hick. And them codfish is tough. I don't care. It's the best bounty I ever saw. Try our wine, boy. Right. We made it ourselves. Hey! Still partners, Chuck. You're doing my dancing. I'm doing your drinking. You do mean it, don't you, Marion? Oh, dear, you're a peach. Look, say it again. Why? I want Tucson to hear you say it. Who was it to Tucson that I like you? He bet me $5 you'd say it tonight. Stony Brook! Hey, Parker! Marion, I was just kidding. I don't want Tucson's $5. I'm sure glad to hear that.
Jackie. Grab your partner. Your lungs won't stand it. Hey, John! You ride this horse. Too bad these folks didn't stay for their own house warm. More hard luck like this, and we'll get rid of these nesters in a hurry. Hey, over. Look. Five men to pay for my brother. Get fresh horses. Gentlemen, something I can do for you? We've been losing a lot of cattle since you nesters hit this valley. Oh, you won't find them in my pasture or any other veteran. Come on, I'll show you. Wait a minute. Ain't you going to ride over? But I can't ride. Oh, you can't ride? Well, it's about time you learn. Here, take my horse. Oh, but it's against the doctor's orders. 
You see, I, I was gassed. Oh, he's nice and gentle. He oh. won't hurt you. Oh, but I tell you, I can't ride it. It's not good for me. Boys, put him on. Don't, please don't. Don't get put me on. on that horse. I can't. Get oh, him please, on. Please don't. There. Don't, don't put me up on that horse. I'll stick. Really, I am. Oh, oh, oh. Here. I can't ride over there. Yeah, oh, tie him on there and he won't please, fall off. Please. <laughs> Put a flank rigging on. That'll give him a ride. Turn him loose. Furthermore, he's taking teacher home. How do you like this horse? Oh, he seems very nice. He's been gentle for ladies. That's why I bought him for you. Why, Stoney. I couldn't help it. Can I help you? No, thank you. You can't leave that there. Hiya, Bob. What are you doing? Taking a snooze? Come on. Wake up. Shut. Ready. Aim. Fire. Where are you going? Stony. Stony.
Stoney. Where are you going, fellas? To town. Oh, I'm going with you. No, thanks, partner. But the Canfields are lame for you, too. You might need me. Oh, uh, we'll be all right, Lullaby. Listen, I'm not so bad in a fight. Look at here. Well, the French, they fight for glory. The English fight for land. The Americans fight for souvenirs. <laughs> Say, I'll tell you what you can do. You stay here, and by all means, keep all the veterans out of town. Oh, well, wait a minute. Keep the boys out of town, Cut loose now. Remember, our aim is to get Brack to admit that he killed Bob. I'll do my part. Hey, Barkeep. Where's the sheriff? He's out of town. What do you want to see him about? Oh, I, uh, I want to swear out a warrant for the man who murdered Bob Bryant. Oh, I understood his lungs were bad. He was murdered. And I saw the man who did it. Any of you know where the deputy is? Who did it? I'm telling that to the sheriff. Red, go get the deputy. Stranger in the saloon who says he saw you haze Bob Brent. Well, what about it? He aims to charge you with murder. Oh, he does, does he? He'll make the third nest of us die to pay for all them, and I aim to get two more. He's not a nester. He's one of those cowpunchers helping him. We'll get him when he comes out. Well, I guess I'll go for that deputy myself.
Drop those guns. Thanks for the confession, Brack. out of town, huh? I'm not the kind of a fellow you think I am. No. No. That Spanish girl in Carrizoza didn't mean a thing to me. No. no. Marion, will you stop saying no? It's beginning to scare me. No. What's the matter? You're busy. I won't bother you. You stay here. I'll take care of it. Hey, Carol, what? 
Our ranch. Rustlers just made off with 400 head and killed one of the boys. But I'll take care of it. Oh, is that so? Marion, I'll come back someday and finish what I was saying. Goodbye. go with you. Yeah, I'll try awful hard to be useful. Come on, partner. I'm a Westerner. Yippee! <laughs> 